Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Sylvia and Corey Bichanga. Today I'm doing something that I have now lived in Kenya over six years and I've never had this and it's really exciting because um, I've saved money for it and I've worked for it both my husband and I have and to finally be able to buy this item is just like a dream come true mostly for me <laughs> so as many of you know in Kenya Mombasa is probably one of the hottest places after Mombasa it might be Kisumu Kisumu is so hot <clears throat> The good thing is we don't have a lot of humidity, but it is so hot. And right now we are having some of the hottest days, 90 degree days, and we don't have any AC. And we live right under the attic in our apartment, like we're way at the top. So all the heat of the day soaks into this house. Plus I have like three big windows along the afternoon sun side of the house. So all this sun pours in and just accumulates in here. <sighs> Thirdly, I don't know which number I'm on by now, but these people are building houses. And I don't know if you can see behind me there, but they're like five stories and they've completely blocked off any breeze that we had coming in. We used to have a beautiful breeze blowing in here. It has blocked off all the breeze. So, and then, as you may know, I'm pregnant. And I thought I was used to the Kisumu heat after living here for this long, but pregnancy has put me on a whole nother scale of being hot. It's even a wonder I have this mane down right now because usually I just have it up out of the way and I look like I do because it's just so hot. So, if you haven't figured out by now, we bought an AC unit and I am crossing my fingers that it's actually an AC unit because right here, let me show you. I love you, I give you everything you want me to think about it. down the moon and give that to right here is a machine I bought um probably two years ago and it said it's an AC unit now there's space here to put like ice and water in but turns out it's just a fan it does not blow any cold air of its own. And it was so disappointing for me. But it was also cheap. It was only 2,500 shillings, which is probably around, I don't know, the currency exchange has changed so much, but probably around $20. So the one I bought today, um, or actually yesterday, is quite a bit more expensive than that. And I asked them, is it an AC unit? Does it blow cold air? And they were like, yes, it does. So, Corey and I were supposed to go do this vlog together today, but he had a friend um, come up with an emergency. He needed to take him somewhere. And he called me and he's like, I don't think I'm gonna be back in time because he was at the gym this morning. And so I was like, okay, let me figure out a way to get it here because I was supposed to buy an AC unit from a store here in Kisumu and they kept on telling me, it'll be in next week. It'll be in next week. It's out of stock. If you know me at all, I am sometimes quite unstoppable. And so I went online, bought one, and they were telling me next week too. So I paid extra for shipping to get it here today. It's here. So if I got it from Nairobi to Kisumu in a day, I shall get it into my house by myself. So... <laughs> I wanted to bring you guys along just because it's a momentous thing for me, like momentous, monumentous. I don't know. I was homeschooled, but it, it's a big deal for me because 
um, that's been one of the biggest things here for me to get used to. There's literally sweat dripping off my face. Why did I even bother with makeup? I don't know. But it was a special occasion, so we had to. That's been one of the biggest things living here in Kenya is not having any AC and the frequent, frequent power outages. So, all that being said, let's go get our AC unit. I'm gonna call a bolt driver, so let's do that first, and then let's go pick it up and bring it home and plug it in. Can't wait. If it doesn't work, I will cry later. guys we finally made it back home and hey that road is just so bad i really hate that mamboleo road but we managed to get home and right now i have the ac unit here at home and i just want to take it up to the apartment and see how it does So guys we are home and i just had to pay him extra to carry this box up here because it's it's too heavy for me i could but with my pregnancy i don't want to risk so let's unbox it and plug it in and see if it works with a remote some batteries and a few screws so I just want to make sure I do everything right I don't want to ruin it but it looks so sleek and um, good quality so let me read some instructions and try to set it up here in the living room then I want to like close all the windows and doors and 
Hopefully we'll have a cool house waiting when Corey comes home. <laughs> I'm so excited. to figure something out with that but I'm going to um, set it at the longest setting and just put it in here and the bars here are gonna hold it in place hopefully so I'm just gonna put a screw on either side to hold this this in place I was a little bit afraid that um, it would be hard to fit this window but um, I'm just gonna set it up the best I can until my handy dandy husband comes home and might have a better idea or we might be able to get one of these made like custom, custom made out of steel, I'm thinking, if this doesn't work. So it came with like two screws. So I'm just screwing them in the hole here so that it holds it in place. I think so let's try to see if I can get it in the window that's the part I'm worried about so this part needs to go down so that the hose can go in here so it's definitely not fitting in the window that great at all um, and there's like probably a six inch space on the top so we'll definitely have to do something about the height of this, but I'm gonna zip tie this in place so it for sure doesn't go anywhere. And then um, we'll figure out another solution. So I couldn't find zip ties, of course. So I'm gonna use this really strong double-sided tape and I might try to seal off the upper part too. It's gonna look like a hillbilly, but if it makes cold air, then I'm happy. So what I've realized is with this window type, um, the way it swings out and in, I have to cover the rest of the window. Like it can't just be open. So I'm going to do something that my husband is probably going to be like, no, but I'm going to do it because why not? Well, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to use this extra window tint that we had to cover up the rest of the window and um, put it in place with this double-sided tape is so strong I'm not even kidding you it's really really strong almost like glue so I'm gonna tape this behind the bars over the window bars um, I could wait until Corey comes home but anyway let's just not the 
getting somewhere and yes I won't be able to see out this window anymore but let's be so for real do you want to feel a breeze or do you want to see a view currently my view is a construction site and my house is filled with dust because of it so it'll also be really nice to close the windows and not have a whole bunch of dust pouring in I don't know if this machine works yet, and I've already done all this, so that's scary, but stick with me. Okay, hunty. Let me show you my work. Um, there's legit sweat dripping from my face, so if you judge my work, we cannot be friends anymore. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, usually I'm very about my house being aesthetically pleasing. This was not one of those moments, honey, because <laughs> what's that um it's a window that's now sealed off it looks very bad but fun fact the window is now sealed off and I have this little hole for the oh my word there's a bar right in front of that hole uh -oh. guys I just realized that right now Sweet baby Jesus, please make it work. Are you serious? I was supposed to move it over. Corey the Traveler, if you're watching this, just don't watch, just end the video right now. Let me show you my work. So I put the, <laughs> I can't believe this. I cannot believe that, but there's a gap. There's a gap. I'm gonna work with it. We'll see, but I, yeah, this is, we switched to black tape, um, but the window is sealed off, and I sealed it off well, so this is concerning. Let me see what I can do. Guys, it doesn't fit. I think I'm going to have to redo everything I just did. <laughs> Many unbearable hours later. Okay, guys, all is not lost. Um, a little more tape and a little more wrinkles. And um, we managed to fit this in here. Um, if you hold your head crooked, it looks straight. So let's not talk about um, this. How, but yeah, a little more duct tape. Um, it's still sealed off. And I think we're ready to bring the hose up here and the machine and see what's going on. I'm worn out guys, but, um, I think it's set up and I'm ready to start it. I read all the directions. Corey isn't gonna like my window, but I'm just gonna close the curtains and hope for the best. All right, so let's click the switch and see what happens. While it's on, yay. Now let's see if I remember. Mm-hmm. I want it on cool. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. That was really powerful. Let's see if it makes cool air. Guys, it's blowing absolutely wonderful cool air. And we have this hose pipe going out this window. I really hope I can close this all the way if it rains. So we'll stay tuned for that. But right now I'm excited. I have AC, yay. And I have the remote over here. So let's see. Uh-huh, I turned it off. Cool beans, I'm so excited. 
So I'm gonna wait and get Corey's reaction when he comes home. Um, but first I wanna straighten out the curtains and kind of hide the situation in the window so that he doesn't see that first thing. But I do wanna get this AC unit rolling and all the windows closed so that maybe it's really nice and cool in here when he gets home. So stay tuned for Corey's reaction. So guys, I've just sat down here. The living room is cooling off nicely. I'm so happy with it. I really wonder if it will also cool the kitchen or at all go back the hallway to the bedrooms. I guess we'll see. I feel like that would be a tall order for a small unit like this, but it's cooling this room beautifully. And so far everything is okay, but it is also dark outside now. So. I'll be really curious to see how it does when the sun is shining. So we'll stay tuned for that. And we're just here waiting for Corey to come home. Look who's home. Hey, baby, baby. Hey. Ah. Do you feel any difference in here? It feels so cool. You can breathe. Ah, it's very hot outside very hot is it what oh it's finally here yep. oh baby baby it's... i missed i missed this one i missed going to pick this up to pick it up with my baby yeah we missed wow. you wow oh babe so i want to sleep it's here it's a small machine yeah yeah but I... it can work babe i want to sleep here you can breathe <sighs> with not a lot of air blowing so the only thing is guys um i got an emergency call that's why i wasn't able to be with my wife i don't know if she mentioned something like that to you did you yeah yeah oh i've forgotten to there is a gift for for you all the way from the usa so before you go there yes can you look at <laughs> oh you see there's a pipe going out it does a tape yeah, it does. It's not just um, recirculating the air in here. Right. Hey. <laughs> hey, how did you do this? Hey, you'll see the video. The way I struggled, and imagine I had it straight. Then I realized after sealing everything yeah. that the bar was right in front of the hole. So I had to move it over. That's why it has wrinkles and everything. It was looking much better when it was straight. But then the bar was in front. I couldn't attach the hose. So this one, so it's like... Uh, I had to bend it. Imagine it's, it's, just the, it's just the film from... It's a window tint. <laughs> oh, I used okay. it and cut it. Then I taped it and... I know it's not perfect, but at least I sealed everything off. And then I have the window just on the smallest, like it's op open at the shallowest setting. It doesn't look great, but we'll no, it see. Looks the only thing I'm worried is if it rains. Um, I hope I can manage to close it. But you need so nice. I, 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 are you Jane of all trades? No. Babe, did, did you become Jane of all trades? What do you mean, Jane? See, like Zag, now Jane. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Did I do a good job? I worked, babe. You didn't, good at, you didn't do a good job. You did an excellent job, babe. Wow. But I must admit, the window doesn't look good. Babe. I know for you, if you could have done it, it could have looked much more neat. It looks nice. But I but, tried. Ah. Ah, We've been dying because of uh, heat. the heat in the house. Wow. Courtesy of uh, TLSC. Ah. Did you know TLAC? That's a company, Kenyan company. Oh, it it's is? Kenyan made. Oh. Mm. Wow. I did my research. Hey, thank you so much. Hey, no, don't thank me. We both worked hard and, and managed to buy it. Yeah, anyways, I have a gift for you. Okay. Let me go and get it. It's in the car. So Is it something cut, good? Then I'll go run. Then I'll come back with a gift. Okay. Yeah, I forgot it in the car. I don't know why. Aha. Uh -huh. What is Goodie, this? Goodies. Goodies. I didn't know I was getting anything. So this is for Sylvia. 
all the way from the United States of America. <gasps> I see something. <laughs> I see something in the bag. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap guys, imagine we put the AC unit in and I just fell asleep right here with my head crooked until I have a headache. But, <laughs> can I open it? Yeah, sure, Is it's, it for me? you see it's written Sylvia, not Corey. But it's also for you. <laughs> <laughs> we, what is yours, it's mine. It's mine, it's mine. No, what is yours, it's our, <laughs> it's yours. But what is mine, it's yours. I see. Cheetos, babe. Do you know You've been that's craving for thing, Cheetos. That's the thing I was oh, craving yeah. and I even put on Instagram that I went to Amazon to look if I can just get one bag. It was a hundred dollars to ship one bag with Amazon to Kenya. So courtesy of Dinah. I don't want to cry. You know right now anything can make me cry. But I had no idea. Guys, oh my gosh, and there's even a letter on the back. Oh my gosh, I, I can't believe Let me see it. the letter. It's written Sylvia. She sent three parts. Bichanga. She sent three, there's three parts. Diana, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, you've just made my whole entire month. Thank you. Guys, I know it's not healthy, but I was craving them so much. Thank you so much, Dinah. I love you so much, and you've just made my day, like... It's already, it's at night, baby. You've, she has made your night. <laughs> she has made my whole month. Imagine this is what I was craving, and this morning, I was asking, there's a certain Instagram shop, based in nairobi that is based in nairobi and i was even texting them this morning have you restocked the cheetos are they back in stock and they were like not yet little did i know oh my wow thank you so much may god bless you so big yeah even baby cappuccino is jumping around he's so excited so my friend Dinah sent a card. Wow, look at the flower and your yeah. so matches, yeah. Dear Sylvia, sending you love and Cheetos across the miles and oceans that separate us. Dinah. My friend Dinah is a very good friend of mine. Um, I just want to say thank you so much again. So guys, wow. An AC unit and Cheetos all in one day. Crazy. I'm just uh, and uh, one more thing, one more thing, greetings from AB. Okay. Yeah, he told me to say hi to you. So my friend Dinah is married to a Kenyan man. AB. So he's actually the one that was um, helping him today. Yeah. He went to help Eddie. So anyway, thank you guys so much and thanks for watching today's video. See you in the next video. Peace, Peace out. out. One thing's true. Never asked for none